Hello, I'm Matteo, and uh, in this channel I usually post about uh, modules that I write or that I use for Drupal or for free software tools that I uh, that I like and uh, software ethics and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, consider uh, subscribing to my blog's RSS or to this channel if you like. And today I want to tell you about a little module that I wrote recently for Drupal and that is uh, called a comma separated string widget. So what this does is uh, tried to make it very explicit with the title but uh, you might not know what that means so um, in in Drupal many times when you have a, a text field you can uh, make any any field uh, you can make it uh, multi-value and uh, text fields are just uh, one example of that so if you make a field multi-value what it will happen is that uh, you'll have the form to enter a field and it will be uh, either repeated uh, n times, like five times, it just say uh, that it has five values at most, or it will be uh, added dynamically with a button to say add another item, and it will just copy the form element for it. So for text fields, what that does is that it adds a, another text box under the previous one. Uh, the problem that I had with that is that it takes time in uh, some bloated systems to make that request to so to have the server send you the form element and uh, and all that. So uh, I wanted to have a very simple way to add multi-value elements to a text field. I searched, uh, probably didn't go to the right places, but I couldn't find uh, how to do this, so I wrote a small module for it. Um, and uh, since the module is so simple, I'm going to uh, show the code for it as well. Uh, so the idea is that uh, we go to, uh, let's say, we put a text field in a content type, and we name it whatever we want, and we go to the manage form display, and I'm going to do this in uh, con Contrib, uh, my local contrib, yes, that will work. So in here, I'm uh, an admin already, so uh, I'm gonna go to structure content types, and then I'm gonna add a text field in the article node, uh, and I'm gonna call it mm, text plane and this is going to be uh, that field test Let's save and continue I'm gonna those default values are okay for me but I want to make it unlimited right All right save field settings and uh, uh, let's change this a little bit uh, at some comma separated values. So this is what we want to have. And uh, these may not be required. So this is what it will look like by default. So you keep clicking add another item and it keeps giving you uh, text with elements that you uh, can rearrange, which is cool. Uh, but in this case, uh, this is not what we want. Uh, so, if I go to create a node right now, that's something like node add article, and open this in a new tab. So you'll see that at the end we have this text field, and as we said, we have this, and uh, this help text is not a very helpful because we don't have comma separated values. So uh, what we want to do is go to manage form display and the widget for the default form display, uh, which is uh, the only one that I have right now. I want to make it text field with comma separated values. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go here and refresh the page. And as you can see, there is only a single text field. And you can add some comma separated values 
a foo bar bars. Uh, I probably want to give it an article, uh, a title, uh, a title, and body. Feeling creative right now. So save it as a draft. That's fine. And so if I go back, uh, you'll see that uh, have the same values. But this is uh, this might make you think, oh. Do I have one value with commas in it, or do I have multiple values? So uh, when we render it, you'll see, oh, we're now rendering the, the text uh, field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change back temporarily this text field for uh, the original one. And I'm going to refresh this. Oops, I'm going to go to the edit page. And you'll see that, indeed, these are separate um, form values and I'm gonna change this back to separated values. So uh, the big advantage is that uh, you can copy and paste easily uh, multi-values uh, for, let's say, I don't know, uh, an export or you can do um, manual input much faster uh, because you don't need to wait for the other one, change fields, etc. cetera, uh, and then click a button. Uh, so uh, this was helpful for me. So I created the module and if it's helpful for you, uh, I invite you to use it. Uh, so let's go now to browse the code repository. Uh, the code is very simple. It has a field widget and the tests for it. So here we only have unit tests because it was very simple to, to implement because uh, Drupal offers the right abstractions uh, to do this. Uh, it was very, very pleasing to see how well carefully thought out this all was. Um, so in here, I'm gonna just create the field widget plugin uh, for the field type string. And I'm gonna say that it handles multi-values. So that's one of the keys here. So what this says is that it, this tells form API, hey, do not try to do this uh, duplication of the form element for uh, whenever a field using this widget is configured to have multiple values because I know that this widget already handles multiple values. So uh, this is uh, one of the key uh, parts of this, and then what I'm doing is I'm in I'm extending the ex string text field because it has a, some nuances that I wanted to just keep. I just wanted to add some extra behavior on top. So the form element uh, is the same, but I'm putting the default value uh, as uh, the implosion of the different multivalues. So what we saw earlier in here is that uh, what we're seeing is that the default value for this text field, what we're doing is we're collecting uh, the field 0, 1, and 2, and we are uh, joining them with a comma. Joining them with a comma and space here. Um, and then the other method that we are implementing is massage form values, which uh, what it does is it just takes the whatever user input we got for this widget and we put it in a, f in a form or in a format that field API will understand and will be able to save. So basically what that means is that we need to explode by commas, uh, the limiter here is defaulting to commas, clean any extra surrounding spaces, and then uh, just make it value item, an array of value items. So it would be array of zero, value foo, one, value bar, two, value buzz. And that's pretty much it. And with that, you just go and configure just like we saw earlier, and it's all done. So that's it. Um, please uh, consider commenting and subscribing, as I said before.